In this lecture, you will learn more about ngrok, a tunneling package that is very helpful and saves a lot of time. In the previous lecture, we created a new Laravel project and set up a development server on our local host. But what happens now if a user, for example, sends a message to our bot on our Facebook page and Facebook wants to notify us that the user said hi? Currently, that doesn't work because the local host is not accessible for the outside world. What we usually do to circumvent this is upload our code to a server and let the server do all the communication from there. However, when you're developing, debugging and prototyping and I want to get quick results that cost a lot of time and it's a very tedious task to upload all the stuff like all the time. This is why, fortunately, there's a very helpful tool called ngrok. ngrok is a tunneling package um, that saves a lot of time because it, it creates a web address that points to your local host. So when the Facebook API wants to notify you, it points to the ngrok web address and then only your local host can do the rest of the work. So this is why this is really helpful and will save us a lot of time while developing this bot through the course. So let's just install Angrok, which, uh, which is our main goal for this course, and set up the tunnel to our local host. And we will first install Angrok by going to the Angrok website. To install Angrok, just go to angrok.com and uh, choose the download section and uh, install for the system you use. I won't install it now, I've already done it, but what I can help you with is uh, to set it up after you install it, because you need to do uh, one more step. To make it accessible from every folder, uh, you need to create a sim link, and that's what we're going to do now. So let's open up the terminal. In the terminal, open a new tab. So what we first need to do is go to our local bin directory. So let's go back, go to user local bin okay now that we're in the bin directory we need to create the sim link and we do this by link yes. point to our applications folder and to the application ngrok and this will be called when we use the command ngrok in our terminal so let's do this file exists okay so that worked hopefully it worked for you as well if you have any questions uh, let me know so now that ngrok worked go back to the trending bot folder and type in ngrok and see what happens okay so there's a lot of help um, for us so why not just try it out we can see here ngrok http 80 secures public URL for port 80 web server. Okay, so let's just take a quick look back to our browser and see which port it was. Okay, so our Laravel installation currently runs on localhost port 8000. So we need to make sure to use that as well. So let's just try that out. ngrok http 8000. Okay, so something happens here. As you can see here, it says forwarding twice. One is for HTTP and one is for HTTPS, which is very important because uh, the Facebook API needs a secure connection. So we will need to go with the HTTPS address here. And let's just go back and try it out. Open a new tab. And it's working. So this web address now points to our local host here. So this is what ngrok does for you and it will save you a lot of time, believe me. So that was it. In the next section, we're uh, going to install the PHP Facebook Messenger package so that we can dive into building our bot as fast as possible. See you there.